It is now my great honor to confer the Bicentennial Medals for 2018. These recipients were chosen with guidance by the Executive Committee of the Society of Alumni, and assisting me with the conferral will be the Society President, Tom Gardner, class of 1979. I'd now like to call up Cheryl Robinson Joyner, class of 1985. Thank God for cold winters. With that unlikely thought, you have described how Arctic temperatures in Williamstown kept you indoors watching a new thing called MTV, which then actually played music. Music by artists that you could not have imagined would in time become your clients and colleagues. After Harvard Business School, you rose to lead the marketing efforts of such recording giants as Sony, Warner Brothers, and MCA. You led the growth in size and importance of jazz at Lincoln Center, including overseeing the design and launch of its iconic concert halls at Columbus Circle. You created and carried out some of the industry's most successful marketing campaigns to launch and revive the careers of popular music giants. In thanks, one of them, Prince, surprised you with a custom-made purple couch which we think might look pretty good someday in Pereski. <laughs> As vice presidents for alliances at Live Nation, you structured multi-million dollar arrangements with some of the largest and best known companies in the world. You have come to be described as one of the most talented, creative, and formidable forces in entertainment. Williams was also the place, you have said, where you gained a love of the arts, literature, and writing, along with an ability to think on your feet, showing that a Williams education and a little moxie can lead one anywhere, even across the stage, to collect a Grammy. In recognition of your distinguished achievement in the entertainment industry, Williams College is proud to honor you with its Bicentennial Medal. John Walcott, class of 1971. <laughs> Sometimes old-fashioned ways are what are called for. In positions at Newsweek, US News, and the Wall Street Journal, you wore out plenty of shoe leather cultivating sources here and abroad, learning how institutions and governments work, and gaining a grasp of the big picture. When US leaders geared up to invade Iraq based on claims that Saddam Hussein was cozy with Al Qaeda and developing weapons of mass destruction, news media all went along. All that is, except for the team that you led at Knight Ritter. Your every instinct told you those stories were not true. Your sources then agreed, and so did the many documents that you unearthed. You published exposés over and over. You took a lot of heat for them, were called names, told you were unpatriotic. And we did launch that war, one that will have devastating effects on individuals, families, and nations for more than a generation. History has since proved you were right. You even have the bittersweet experience of seeing yourself in the person of Rob Reiner glorified in the movie Shock and Awe showing for a wide audience that sometimes old school is best and that raising the right questions and standing up for the truth at whatever cost represent an especially valuable form of patriotism. In recognition of your distinguished achievement in journalism, Williams College is proud to honor you with its Bicentennial Medal.
Now I'd like to call up Mike Wynn, class of 1993. You were the first, and are likely to be the last, Williams student ever to be handed a set of keys and told, okay, you're a campus safety officer now. <laughs> the times were different then. <laughs> but so were you, who had earned such respect as a student employee of the office that when a professional was called up for National Guard duty, you were the logical one to fill in. Respect has become the hallmark of your career. It began as a fellow with the Drug Enforcement Agency and continued as a civilian member of the Pittsfield Police Department, working to recruit to the force members of underrepresented groups. You then joined yourself and quickly rose to become one of the youngest police chiefs in Pittsfield history. From there, your influence has spread widely. You are frequently called on to train officers regionally and nationally, while your much praised book, Rising Through the Ranks, Leadership Tools and Techniques for Law Enforcement, has helped to develop public safety leaders in far-flung locations. Back here in your own community, you have also contributed through your involvement with scouting, with the country's youth leadership program, and with the popular winter study course that pairs Williams student mentors with juveniles involved with the court system. Your main message through all of this has been to choose in every instance the right thing over the easy thing. A timely reminder, not just for law enforcement, but for us all. In recognition of your distinguished achievement in public safety, Williams College is proud to honor you with its Bicentennial Medal. Now, uh, Shoshana Clark Stewart from the class of 2002. <laughs> you certainly have a sense of adventure. From Williams, you taught eighth grade special education in Harlem before moving to schools in under resourced areas in Boston and Honduras. This experience in cross cultural settings, you then put dramatic use with Turquoise Mountain the non-governmental organization founded by Britain's Prince Charles to revive the cultural and economic heart of Kabul. Once a crossroads of ancient civilizations on the Silk Route, the city's old town has been devastated by 30 years of war. After serving as a volunteer, you became CEO. Under your leadership, the group removed more than 30,000 cubic meters of rubble, repaired and rebuilt more than 150 traditional earth homes and restored water, power, and sanitation. The group's Institute for Afghan Art and Architecture now trains each year more than 200 city residents in traditional crafts, bringing economic empowerment and spawning artistic excellence that has earned showings at the Smithsonian and the prestigious Museum of Islamic Art in Doha. You also built a community health clinic and a school that serves more than 200 boys and girls. All of this you have navigated in a part of the world unused to working with women in leadership. Always ready for the next adventure, you are now beginning to apply this model to social re of social renewal to Saudi Arabia, Myanmar, and we can only imagine where next. In recognition of your distinguished achievement in cultural redevelopment, Williams College is proud to honor you with its Bicentennial Medal. Thank you. 